Hey, what's up? This is Seeking Cuddle, and for this video, we're going to be working on the Tai Chi Repulse Monkey technique. So, we're going to take it from the eight step form where you do this stationary feet at third line distance or shoulders distance apart, and we're just going to be working on turning the body and doing the technique. Now, it's not so much on how to do the technique, but what we're really going to focus on is setting up with proper extension. Now, in this style, what we want to really focus on is opening up nice and wide and then pressing forward. So, one of the ways that we're going to work on this is keeping the shoulders rounded and the chest concave so that the arms, when they open up, never go past the spine. So, never let the hands go past the spine behind the body. So, let's start first by taking the hands, palms facing in, we're going to drop them down, reach out to the side like a big shrug, and then bring the arms back into the center, and then down. This is not a Tai Chi technique, this is just an exercise to help us get used to extension, to full extension. Opening up both hands, making sure that we're not exceeding the body, we're not going past the spine. So as the hands come down, as they reach back here, it's still up to either side. Now from here, what we're going to work on is just extending out from almost the same position, reaching back and turning the body this time. So now as I drop my hand, I'm going to turn my body so that again, I'm in the same position. Okay? So we work from dropping the hand, bringing it up, and then bring it back on the same path, get the body used to it, and then drop the right hand, and bring it back. Drop the left hand, turn the body to guide it. Bring it back, drop the right hand. Make sure the elbows still point down. Don't actually shrug the shoulders. Keep the shoulders relaxed and the chest concave. Do not also try to cut it in and bring the arms in too far. Okay. After doing a couple of times of dropping the hand back, you can actually lead into the push. Now, let's do a single hand push. So we'll just keep our left hand off to the side. Start with the right hand out. We're going to drop down, back behind, using the shoulders to brush by. Set it here, and then press. Again, turning, focusing on turning the waist, extending out, and then press. Now after we've isolated the technique on one side, we need to balance it out and do the other side. So just bring the hand up, making sure to turn the body, turn the shoulders with it. That's it, turning at the waist, bring the hand down, set it here, and press in. Again, turning at the waist. Now for the technique from the as seen in the eight step form, we're going to open up, so palms face up, drop the hand back, set, and then as you turn, pull the hand goes down. So now we incorporate it into the eight step form, making sure that the chest stays concave, using both hands, extending out, not exceeding the spine. And then from there we can apply it to other forms where we actually start stepping back each time. Okay. But for the most part, we're really looking towards keeping the chest nice and concave, not exceeding the spine, keeping the arms out in front. This will really, this will not only improve your form, but it will improve your push hands and application as well, as it will keep your balance in a little more centered, and it helps with the extension and the follow through itself. Until next time, this is Seeheen Cuddle. Bam! Fist with a foe out!